Spalding. To follow up with the last remarks of the last broadcast. Everything these people do from these pristine spots, Moses and Jesus climbing the mountain, others do from the lowest point in the cellar and filth and dirt and servitude and duty. From the deepest point in jail and suffering, they come to the same awareness and have the very same conversations with their wit. Keep that well in mind. And they don't go to some mountaintop to do it. No, they go to quite the opposite place. And it's both the same. And the counsel of the Lord is the same. Exactly, verbatim. In fact, I, as far as I'm concerned, when the Lord always talks up to you, don't you think the cellar is a closer place to get that same temptations and remarks and awarenesses and all that? That they call all their all kinds of words? Treat it so sacred? Because positions and things and people treat it sacred really do much. They gotta watch every word they say so much. Look at the Pope. Ha! Okay. Like, does he change diapers while he's over there in Cuba and Mexico? And the Pope changed diapers all day for the most filthy, disease riddled people he could find. Did they say that? And told the women, take a break. I got you covered. Did the Pope do that? Because that's the task the Pope is sending God on. May the Pope take on the very, every task the Pope is wishing God on. Go do yourself first. Then if you can't do it, call on God for help. And in between, ask humans for a hand. How's that, Pope? Said God to me. To pass on to you. Very, very tired. God. Very incorrectly marked about. Words put in God's mouth. All kinds of jading remarks made about the image of God. And the children don't want to have anything to do with God. Because of it. All those speaking about God. Too lazy to get their hands dirty. Bunk. And wishing God, by coincidence and, oh, do it. God said, bunk. They don't know me. I'm a conceptional God, not a spiritual one. Engage my hand so I can go to work. Giggling. I can't have the same pitch of giggle God does talking to me. It comes out, ah, ah. but reality. When God told me to tell you this, was giggling. So I'm sorry, like, ah, must be the fungus. Because when God told me to tell you, God was giggling. Pope. Hey, Pope, pass it on. Let's see how that affects Mexico and Cuba. Because they need that effect. Oh, yeah. They need a soft-hearted, challenging effect. No scolding there at all. Only lifting up. Lifting up humans. Yay, humans and everything you do for each other in Cuba and Mexico. God told me what to say in Cuba and Mexico. Generosity and honesty in everywhere you go. Oh, there's so much around you, you won't show. Then the gangs are making fools of you and your stingy way of living. Now the Catholic Church is right in the middle of this hootie ha. And so is Spain and all the royalty catia. Let's stop all payments to Spain and the Catholic Church from Cuba and Mexico and see what the gangs do. You think that'll take gang and affect ganging at all? How about cruelty? Let's just say we don't point a finger at any name. Eh? We just look at cruelty in Mexico and Cuba. How can you affect that? Wait, I got a better idea. Let's back up more. Let's look at glee and joy and generosity and mutual and everything that everyone else wants to do that everyone's failing here. How can Mexico and Cuba do it? Nobody else re and everyone else refuses to do. That's what we would look at. Right? Boy, sometimes I really hit it right on the burn. Okay, your turn.
I'll get off the stage now. You take over from there. I'm sure you got the lines to follow that one. Go on. You got the ideas, right? And I can do that. No problem. I'm getting out of here because you're smarter than me. A lot smarter than me. Oh, yeah.